Here at the Redemptorist Heritage Centre, we are able to learn about the early founding Australian missionaries who have set foot in Singapore some 85 years or more ago. And through the painstaking work of the staff and volunteers, we were able to piece together and also to display some old documents, pictures that testify their good works that were done before. Hopefully in this present age, we will be able to inspire more people to be our collaborators, to be able to preach the good news of plentiful redemption, especially to the most poor and abandoned. My name is Jerome Pang. I'm the operations manager here at uh, Novena Church. In uh, 2011, the Redemptors asked me if I could help them set up a archive centre. I came here and in this library actually, there were three or four boxes of photographs, of documents and some artefacts that belonged to the Australian fathers that work here in Singapore and Malaysia. In 2014, they asked me if I could help them to uh, get involved in the building and construction of the new church here at Novena. There were many, uh, many uh, artifacts that was lying around in the old sacristy, in the old library, in rooms, in cabinets. And I thought that it would be very important to collect all this because sometime down the road, uh, these might be displayed in a heritage centre. Here are some uh, artefacts that I would like to show you. This is a brick taken from the one of the old buildings that was uh, Demolished. In fact, we had three uh, blocks of uh, buildings that were demolished and these buildings actually housed the fathers. They were the fathers' uh, residence, the common room, the library. And uh, this complex here at uh, Novena Church actually belonged to a wealthy uh, businessman, uh, Mr. Wee Ka Kiet. And in July 1948, the Redemptorist uh, purchased this property uh, from him. This is an uh, English Chinese uh, dictionary. Uh, he has written as Sua Tao. Actually, it is uh, the local dialect Teochew. Uh, and what is interesting about this, this actually belonged to Bishop Adrian de Valls and uh, Bishop. De Vals was the one who actually invited the Redemptors here in 1934. And in 1935, the first Redemptors arrived from Australia. This is a chalice belonging to Father Paul Pang. And Father Paul Pang is the first local Redemptors in Malaysia and Singapore and this chalice was presented uh, by his family as a gift for his ordination in August 1966. This is a very special artifact. This is the zucchetto worn by Pope John the 23rd and Pope John the 23rd convened uh, Vatican II Council in uh, 1962. And what is interesting about this artifact is that this was obtained by one of our donors, Maria Wu, and she also actually donated the three bells that uh, is found in the bell tower in front of the new church and the bells in the church in Ipoh. And uh, Maria Wu actually gave this to uh, Brother Casimir, and when Brother Casimir was ill, he gave it to uh, Brother Bernard Heaney. And uh, I asked Brother Bernard uh, whether he could put this uh, in the 
archives. Uh, these are some of the items that will be displayed in our Heritage Centre. And do come and have a look at all these items when it's open. I'm Mary Elizabeth Lim, Heritage and Library Manager of Novena Church. To help me in the preparation of the artefacts for display in our heritage centres, I have my colleague Jerome Pang, part-timers and volunteers to help me in the different areas. Jerome selects the artefacts and gives background information of all the items collected through the years. My part-timers and volunteers are instrumental in these areas. These artefacts are very old and we need to clean it with a dry cloth, not a wet one because it will affect the condition. To keep a record of our collection, we tag all our items. There are different ways of measuring our art effects as they come in different shapes and sizes. For example, the turable, we would measure the diameter and the total length of the art effect. For a prayer card like that, we would measure the length and the breadth. And for a cuboid, like this key cabinet, we would measure the height, the length and the depth. This photo album is a gift from our Australian seminarians in the 1940s. The pages are torn and are falling apart. As such, we have to do some restoration work. She is patiently mending the torn pages. She has not gone through a formal training and yet she is doing it like a pro. The most challenging part of our work is to do the content writing for all the 238 artefacts that we have. In collaboration with my colleague Jerome and some research work, we are able to come up with an accurate uh, description of all our artefacts. Over here, we are putting all the pertinent details into the computer and from there we will draw out the data necessary to make all these signages which we will display in our heritage centres. Hello, I'm Alvin Lee, the interior designer for the project. I think for me the high point of the entire project will be to understand what the Catholic faith is all about. Uh, as a non-Catholic, it was fascinating to see all the artefacts and art pieces that the Catholic used to worship. Another challenge for me was uh, I could showcase these items through the design. Um, how is the best way to actually interpret uh, all these artefacts in view of the Catholic faith? I will feel that uh, the best way to showcase these items will be with the most elegant and the most dignified method. Keeping it simple, yet spiritually uplifting. Hello, my name is Peter Cho. I am the QP for this project. For this project, the major challenge was to obtain the URA's approval for the change of use of this area for the display of religious artifacts. We submitted a waiver to the URA explaining how these religious artifacts and articles are essential the Catholic spirituality and prayer life. With this understanding, the ERA approved our VIVA application. The other challenge is the fire safety provision for the second story uh, room which was served by two spiral staircases. The previous VIVA was good enough. Hi, I'm Gerard Hui and I'm the project coordinator for this uh, Heritage Gallery. This project was inspired by the uh, desire to enlighten and remind Catholics in Singapore about the faith, missionary zeal, and dedication of the early Redemptorist Fathers through the years. I would love to see the Heritage Centre as a place of spiritual contemplation, 
and learning more about the Catholic faith and to draw the faithful into a closer relationship with God in the work of the Redemptorists. To achieve this, we would have different themes, rotation of the artifacts and works in progress, one of which is to seek artifacts from the faithful.